What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here. Thank you for watching and listening to Nerd is New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode 147. And today I'm joined by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Wildfire One. Hello, everybody. I am Wildfire One. And joining us today, from out of nowhere, is the younger brother, Monster74. What's up, guys? Monster 74 here. Which he really isn't our younger brother. He's like my cousin. Mm-hmm. Would you say that? You're going to confuse everyone mm-hmm. and think we're all some, some incest family. Which Well, it's everyone that we've ever met thinks that you're my younger brother and you're seven years older than I am. So I can't help it if I'm pretty. <laughs> I mean, Grizzly. <laughs> yeah. You got, you yeah got, so what's the topic what today? Grizzly McBizzle. The topic today is... Christmas movie. This is going to be coming out on Christmas. Um, we usually put our podcasts on sun- Sunday, but instead we're doing it on Saturday because Saturday is Christmas. So you get Christmas and you get the podcast early. That is our gift to you. So, Merry Christmas, bitches. <laughs> Monster, why don't you give us your what's the first Christmas movie that comes to mind? So we we'll talk about it and reminisce. My first one I want to talk about. I'm going to switch it up. Is uh, is Jingle All the Way? Good movie. Happened to be a great Christmas movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm-hmm. Sinbad. There we go. When he was relevant. <laughs> yeah. Before he, you know, fell off the face of the earth. The thing. Whatever happened to Sinbad? Like, does anyone know? Well, he done a comedy He's thing like, a couple years back, but that's it. I I didn't even know that. I thought he just disappeared. Like he's no longer a thing. Like. You never know. Hollywood is weird. One minute you're there, the next minute you're gone. But Jingle All the Way was a good movie. Uh, the basic premise of that was what? Like, they're trying to find a, a toy for, like, their son. And it's, like, one of those big ass. It was called Ultraman or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And it was, like, a, it was an action figure. And the whole idea was they're, 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 they're like, the last one. They're, or trying to find one. And they're fighting, fighting each other throughout the whole fucking movie to get it. And it had, you know. I, I said this earlier, one of the uh, big core aspects of these movies, like these Christmas movies, they have a moral. Mm-hmm. Like they have a, a, a an end meaning, like, you know, everyone's good together or, you know, uh, Christmas isn't about presents. There's always a story or a moral to it. It's about love. It's about love, yeah. So what do you think, Grizz? Give us your two cents on Jingle All the Way. I thought it was pretty good. You know, it was a weird combination with those two actors. Because mm-hmm. they're a like, complete opposite. You know, one is very energetic, very, you know, outgoing. And then the other, nobody can understand most of the time. The other's a, a killer <laughs> in every movie. Put the cookie down! Just, I just <laughs> love it. I, I, that's the only line I can remember from that movie is... This like how how Sinbad's eating like the cook. No, that wasn't Sinbad. It was the fucking. It was Phil Hartman. Who was mm-hmm. eating the cookies. And it was like the neighbor that he was thinking he was getting with his wife or some shit like that. And he's eating his cookies. And Phil Hartman, you know, he died. Uh, he got killed by his wife. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, uh, my dad told me about that years ago. Uh, I forget. I know he got killed by his wife, and that sucks. But he was a good actor, and he was really good in that. You know, he was. Uh, he could play a pretty bad guy, a pretty bad guy, but he can also play play a pretty good guy, a wholesome guy, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe pretty he was good bad in guy. pretty good bad guy. Pretty good bad guy. Pretty good good guy. So he was he was he had a, he had a good acting uh, set of good acting chops on him. So Jingle All the Way was good. Go ahead, Grizz, with the the next movie. Two movies really. Third, the third was crap, but Home Alone. Oh yeah. Talk about Christmas movies. Yeah, I've done like Home Alone. Home Alone that was, was every little boy's dream to be able to defend their home from bad guys and get yeah. away with it. I got a little story to and that, too, gave, so it makes it kind of more special to me. I Go ahead with your story. Oh, I went on my first one of my first dates ever in my life to Home Alone. 
Like, I was a young man, like a kid. I was probably, like, what, 12 or so, and went on my first date with a girl, and it was cute. You sure with a girl? Mm, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Nowadays. I mean, I never saw her with the clothes off. I was 12, motherfucker. So, the sky's the limit. He was, he was trying to get to first base. Yeah, I was just trying. I was just happy I was there with a girl. He wasn't trying to hit a home run. Yeah. Fuck Grizz, you judgy fuck. But I like the movie. I, I don't know anyone that doesn't like Home Alone. And and we talked about this earlier. There's three of them. Home Alone 2 was good. Any movie with Tim Curry is a fucking winner. Uh, you can't you can't lose. Tim Curry is a great actor. So Home Alone, Home Alone 2 with his Grinch-like smile and his, his beautiful, like, grumpy acting towards Macaulay Culkin was good. And then I think you said Monster... That you saw the third one, and that was it, right? No, I've seen them all, but the one I most remember. Oh, because you were a little older, right, when it came out? Mm -hmm. That was a little younger when the first ones came out. Is there anything you want to say in addition about Home Alone? No, I just thought thought it was a good movie. The second one, I believe, I thought was better than the first one. Okay. Because it's in an abandoned house and not his own house. So there was more stuff you could do. That was kind of cool. It was a house that was being renovated. It was like his aunt's house mm-hmm. or something, I believe. It was a really good movie. Yeah. Uh, the, f- the first two were good, and then like they got rid of Macaulay Culkin, and no one fucking cared. Yeah. But they do got another one coming out soon. Yeah, you were saying that, and I, I'm hoping it's true, because you never know with COVID coming around and you know with all the bullshit that happens. You never know when someone, they're just going to be like, oh, yeah, this movie's coming out. Oh, we're done. Nope, nope, sorry. We're not putting money into this no more. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Afterlife. Really? We gotta go see it, guys. Shit, we gotta make a date for that. Yes, it's coming out like on the end, the end of November. So I say, I say this month. This is coming out Christmas, so it, it's already out by the time you see this. So. Mm. Okay, so then we'll have to meet in Tulare because there's a better theater in Tulare. Yes, okay. and it's way more comfortable. That sounds good. You get the- and and you, well, the one down the street's not bad. Yeah, but it's better than that one. But it also serves alcohol. You said the magic word right now, Grizz. So yeah, I guess it's and my the seats there's alcohol in there. and the seats recline. Okay, fuck yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, it's like <laughs> recliners. And yeah, then there's that. one in Bakersfield where you can order food to your table. Oh shit! There's a table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you get a table. It's on your on your seat, but yeah. Will they give you lap dances, too? Yeah, because if that's the case... No, unfortunately. Oh, I, but the I, food is really good. Okay, so so movie theaters, I know that you guys hit, got hit hard by, by COVID. That's an idea. Lap dances. Just <laughs> cheer me out. Yeah, dance in the movie, huh? Lap dances. <laughs> Half price for, for uh, matinees. Yeah, and then you just have a bitch <laughs> on your lap, de- grinding away. You know, it, it's it's a great way you might be able to get off, and you might anyway. Back to back to the topic. Back to the oh, topic. It, we're doing Christmas movies, not yeah, porn. Not porn yet. <laughs> we haven't fallen down that rabbit hole yet. We haven't. We, we haven't been to Pornhub. We're not a Pornhub. <laughs> Who's been a hoe today, girls? <laughs> Take off your panties! Ho 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 ho. <laughs> all right so my first movie is gonna be um die hard because despite no. what everyone says no. I, I, about despite no. what everyone I, says we it is a movie. christmas movie it's a christmas movie i don't care it's a christmas movie it is a christmas movie it's a christmas movie it is. It's a. It is. It happened during Christmas. There's a Christmas party. Just because there's an action in it, even at the end, he gets with his wife. There's a moral. If, it, if it's if it's if it's a Christmas movie, then Avengers Endgame is Christmas movie because they've been through five Christmases. Okay, then it's a Christmas movie. And if you didn't like that one, I'll go ahead and go like I did last time. I'll go with what I said before. It's a Wonderful Life. And. Mm-hmm. It's a, a wonderful. Is a it, no matter what you guys say, I don't give a fuck. It's like the Christmas movie. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. Is the Christmas movie? It's one of those movies you watch every year. You get into uh, monster. You said you didn't see it, right? 
No, I'm too old. I'm too young. But uh, you, we'll watch it. We'll make a day of that sometime. But it, it's a good movie. Um, Grizz, tell me what you liked about it. I like the story to it. The characters. The story tells you that you don't have to be perfect. But you do touch there. someone's life just by being there. Like Exactly. It, by not being there people are you're going to be affecting someone and the whole the whole premise is basically for it's a wonderful life is basically this guy is just tired of life he's he, he doesn't like how his life has went and he's died i think he's on the verge of suicide right yeah and then his angel clarence comes down and, and shows him what happens without his life and it's it's a really touching story. Like I think all of us kind of want to see something that like that about ourselves. And I think we can all get into something like that. It's a very good, very good show. Uh, even to this day, monster, since we're going around in circles, give us your next movie. Can it be a show? Sure. Anything Christmas. Uh, so this show on Netflix called happy. I love happy. But I don't. So, I will. I, will, I don't know if that's really a Christmas show. But go on. Go it's on. a Christmas show. It's if, if, it if it's like going by my or... rules, it's a Christmas show. But go on. It's a Christmas show, but it's a very tormented Christmas show. It's a very adult oriented <laughs> Christmas show. Yes, and it does have a moral. It's funny. Happy is hilarious. I have told Sam three six about Happy, and I made him watch it, and he fucking fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, two but seasons. First season, Two seasons, and then they stopped doing it. It started on uh, Sci-Fi, I believe. Mm-hmm. But uh, have you seen Happy Grizz? Oh, Jesus, no, you, need on the list. you need to oh, watch it. You need to watch it. Happy is 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 a, adorable and great. It's basically what happens if, like, an insane man gets to meet his daughter's, like, imaginary, imaginary friend. Imaginary friend. Yeah. So, in, on in Christmas, on Christmas, mm-hmm. during well, during yeah, that was a good one. Happy is a good. It, the fact that you even brought that back up back up into my life, like it makes me happy. Mind the pun, <laughs> but oh god. But if that doesn't count, you can't go wrong without saying Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh yeah, the old uh, yeah. claymation. Yes. Mm-hmm. So if that one doesn't count. And the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I always watch it every single year on, on either Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. That's a very good one. And, and I mean, I, I like that since I was a kid. So it's a great one to just sit around on the couch in the living room with the lights off, candles going, just watching it on TV with your hot cocoa full of whiskey. And oh yeah, just enjoy. Oh yeah, hot cocoa full of whiskey, whiskey. Cocoa is is the win. As an adult. And then it gets funnier the more you watch it. And vodka and egg. No, you can't ruin eggnog like that with nasty Russian water. <laughs> vodka. 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 You can't talk about Christmas movies without a Christmas story. Oh, yes. You'll shoot your yeah. eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Don't you have that lamp? I bought that lamp for my dad. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to say it. Um, One year. I was there whenever you picked it up. (laughs) Yeah, because we bought it from the mall, I believe. Yep. And Mm -hmm. my dad loved that lamp and my mom hated it, just like the movie. (laughs) But, yeah, that was a good movie. Um, I still use quotes from that movie like Turkey Lurkey and, and stuff like that. It's it's uh if you've seen it, monster. Uh, I think I have. I hope you have because it's on every Christmas. That's that yeah. Uh, a Christmas Story is a good movie. Uh, I liked I, one of the one of my favorite scenes in that was when they well there's a lot of favorite scenes. Shoot your eye out, kid. The tongue on, getting stuck on the pole. But the uh, the Christmas dinner is probably my favorite thing when they're talking about the goose looking at him. And the, the Asians are fa ra 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 ra. That would be your favorite. If, it's hilarious. It's racist as fuck, but it's funny. 
<laughs> it was so good. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. That that movie, I, I remember laughing my ass off as a kid watching it. And, you know, fudge. When he, when he <laughs> got his ass kicked. Oh, man. I think every kid can relate to something like that. Monster, do you ever have any good any good memories of that movie? No show? No? No? Fuck, no. dude. You've had a fucked up childhood. Well, I mean, I mean it wasn't the best. <laughs> First to admit it. That's that's fair. Um, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I mean, God. anything before 11 was... Uh, it was pretty shitty. Yeah. All right. Well, how about... Uh, a Christmas Carol, the Jim Henson's version, the Muppets. <laughs> the Muppets, a Christmas Carol. <laughs> I've heard of that one. In a long that is time. a, but it's a good one, and I believe it had uh, Michael. That Keaton. one was going to be the third. That was the third one on my list. <laughs> oh, was it? But you can't yeah. talk about it without it because it was so good. It. This is when the Muppets were in their prime too. Like, mm-hmm. you know. And, and and the the last the last movie that that Disney did was pretty good the the Haunted Mansion but we'll get to that another time but my point is is that the Muppets were in their prime at that point and they had like they had Michael Caine playing Ebenezer Scrooge I believe and it was just so good he yeah. did so good and every I, I always loved how the Muppets kind of conjoined their characters into you know different characters into different parts <clears throat> and I want to say the only ones that did that just as good was like disney like disney's a christmas carol was or yeah it was was just as good in my opinion yeah so there's a lot of that um well now we're talking about it grizz do you want to talk about what you like about it i just always liked the muppets you know as a kid when they were just getting big you know that was that was the thing you know muppets that muppets that and Jim Henson was a fucking I'd have to, guy. Oh, yeah. And I'd have to say that my favorite characters from The Muppets Christmas Carol would have to be the brothers, the old men. Oh, but the the story was good. It was they did a good job. And like I said, they always they always incorporate they these characters. Spot on. Yeah. And Michael Caine is just a fucking amazing actor. Like he really is. My next movie would have to be Frosty the Snowman. Oh, another another claymation. Yes. I don't go... Uh, uh, that's the same day I watch Rudolph is the same day I watch uh, Frosty. I vaguely remember Frosty. I, I, remember, I remember it was good. Yeah, it was one of the ones I watched, but I wasn't like too into. I was more into Rudolph, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh Frosty was cool, but you know, I know it was I know that the story was basically following the song. You know, he had to go eventually yep. at the end and yada yada yada. Uh, so, what are your fond memories of it? Just watching it as a kid, and thinking it was the most amazing movie ever. <laughs> Claymation, if you if you're not familiar with it it's just fucking amazing especially when it's done right and they did those guys did it right watching Frosty the snowman smoke that wood pipe made me start thinking hey if a snowman's smoking it must be good for you right <laughs> you know he was smoking crack and now look at who is now <laughs> look at him now yeah look fucking smoking out of the pipe himself grizzly the shithead do 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 <laughs> oh, we grew up to be pretty fucked up. <laughs> oh my god! I bet you if we met our child selves and they're all full of wonder and shit, they'd probably kick us in the nuts. They would probably be like, "Who the fuck are these guys? What what hey, happened to you?" I would probably put them in the hard. <laughs> My, mine would be like, where's all the Transformers? Well, you're getting there. No, I got rid of them. What? I don't have you. Let go of my purse. How are you going to buy shit and get rid of it? 
Well, because I wasn't able to get them all. It cost me a fortune to get them this. all. And then I watched the 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 ones that they included on Netflix, and they fucked it all up. They fucked it up. I want nothing to do with it. Yeah. Oh, so you just you rage quit. You you nerd. Yeah. You nerd rage quit. That's what yeah. I, mean. I couldn't get like five of them or six of them without paying double, triple the price. For yeah, that's bullshit. Uh, well, you better put something better on your wall then. I'm gonna put you. I don't have an action figure yet. <laughs> you got you got to put some good on your wall, dude. Like I know all I know. about that nerd I shit. Like Stormbreaker or something. Still have an um, action figure of myself. Five size. <laughs> Three easy payments of forty forty nine ninety nine. You can get a Grizzly McBee sex doll. <laughs> That does this. <laughs> but you can change it to where he does this. <laughs> Kung Fu Grip. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. I am going to have to say Rise of the Guardian. Oh, yeah. It's the newer one. It came out a few years ago. Uh, what's about Jack Frost? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember it. Vaguely. <laughs> With the Russian Santa with the naughty or nice on his forearm. Mm -hmm. I that one was really good. I vaguely remember it. And the main bad guy was uh, Boogie, uh, was the Boogeyman. Hmm. Well, since I vaguely That's remember good. it, uh, tell me about it, Grizz. Yeah, Grizz. Amaze oh. us with wonder. <laughs> there it was. Naked in a beanbag chair, eating Cheetos, watching a televangelist on TV. <laughs> <laughs> the story is based around Jack Frost. Okay. You know, how he died, uh, how he found out that he was dead. You know, his backstory, as it were. It's kind of dark, and as right? As to how he became Jack Frost. <laughs> to a point, yeah. Um, but then he is selected by the man on the moon to be the new guardian of the children. You know, there's the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, uh, the Sandman, and Santa Claus. Of course, Santa Ooh. Claus. Surprise, surprise. Elves don't build the tools. The Yeti build the, tools, build the toys. That's cool. Yeah, it, it's, it's a really wholesome, good story. Got a good um, moral to it. Yeah, you should watch it. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely watch it. I'll have it's to check real. it out. I, I think I've seen bits and pieces. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen it. Seen it. So, okay. Anything you want to add there, monster? It's a damn good movie. My favorite. My favorite person on it is the same. Is who? The Sandman. The Sandman. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's like mute. Ah. And the way he talks, he like makes stuff with the sand. Well, my next one is a good one. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That one's too old for me, but I know National Lampoon's. There's a lot of titties in it. <laughs> well, this one, this one was with Chevy Chase, and there wasn't really that much. And this one wasn't that much titties. It's just basically it's well known because it's basically he's just trying to have the perfect Christmas, and everything goes wrong but uh it's it's a really good movie it has good wholesome values to it and it's fucking hilarious like watching clark griswold go ape shit and just lose his shit on his family is probably the best thing ever it wasn't really my kind of humor so i didn't really get into it okay okay i like chevy chase yeah chevy chase especially I mean, in the I 80s mean, was good like I don't know. He was pretty good in the community, in community too. So well, Chevy Chase got a little too um, greedy in the nineties. It was one we hadn't mentioned yet. Damn it! Would you like to help him? Chris? The, the Santa Claus. Yes, <laughs> that is actually it. <laughs> that was the exact one, Grizz. You picked it. But my favorite one. That was the next one. Oh, you wanted to see? You, you're talking about Santa Claus too, then? Yes. Okay. I like all of them. Yeah, I like this... the second one a whole lot better because he's in his role. He has to find Mrs. Claus. 
It was they, good. It was a good. There's movie. a fake toy one of made of him. Who is the guy who played him? I forget. Uh, Tim Allen. Tim no. Allen. Yes. Yeah. That was that was a good one. That's a good pick. Uh, the Santa Claus, especially the first one, where he started doing his initial changes mm-hmm. and becoming old and and stuff like that, was very good. Uh, that also had a really good um, moral and story to it. You got Don't any... work your life away. Yeah, yeah. You have a family. You have life. You have people that, that, that love you and yada, yada, yada. Uh, do you have anything you want to say about that, Grizz? Good movie. It's a damn good movie. All right, well, your turn. Come on, Grizz. We're waiting. Fuck. Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, I was thinking about that. That's a good one. What? Miracle on 34th Street. Never heard of it. Oh, it's, it, you want to talk about, like, everything you want in a Christmas movie? That has it. Tell us about it, Grizz. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Tell me. Summarize the whole movie. Emotional. There's sad. There's happy. It covers all the aspects of emotion, really. I mean, there's some parts where you just can't help but laugh. There's some parts where it'll bring a tear to your eye, regardless of who you are. You forgot just... what it's about, didn't you? <laughs> That's not I'm just calling thing. bullshit because he's like, it's emotional. There's a lot of emotion in this movie. Emotion, this, <laughs> there's sadness and happiness. And like, the whole time, I'm like, he fucking forgot. That's the most vague explanation I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, it is a good movie, though. Like, okay. That's like if you ask me, uh, how how is Call of Duty? Oh, sometimes I get mad. Sometimes it gets sad. Sometimes <laughs> There's get a lot sad. of emotion in Call of Duty. You can say that about any movie. You can say that about Alien. <laughs> sometimes they're sad. Sometimes they're mad. So, okay. Not, okay. Miracle on 34th Street, after divorce, a New York mother hires a nice old man to play Santa Claus at a Macy's. She's startled by his his claim to be the genuine article. When his sanity is questioned, a lawyer defends him in court by arguing that uh, he's not mistaken, that he really is a Santa Claus. Oh, you know what? I think I've heard of that I just remember the title of the movie. It's okay. Whatever. It was, it was a good movie. It had a lot of emotion. I can picture the Santa. Yeah, it was, it was a really good movie. It had a really good Santa Claus in it, too. I got another one for you guys. Are you for this? Bad Santa. Uh, Bad Santa. That's a good one, but you can say that one later. The one I'm going to say is Scrooged. Oh, it had oh. Bill Murray, and it was basically a at the, it was an '80s, like modern modernized version of a Christmas story, and it was very good. And I think one of the best lines from that movie that I always remember is one of the one of the ghosts looks at the main character and goes that he tells him he's gonna cry, and he tells him it's gonna be Niagara Falls. <laughs> And it's fucking hilarious because he starts crying and, and the ghost looks at him, Niagara Falls, then says his name. It's a really good movie. Uh, it had Bob Wait, Bobcat Goldthwait in it as like, like I, w- I want to say the guy he fires and get, he just, it's a really good movie. Like, Scrooge is a good, are you guys telling me you haven't seen it? No, I have. I just, I, like I said, I haven't, it's been a very long time. Grizz, tell me you've seen it. It's a reminiscence of a Christmas show. Yeah, so but it's amazing. Bill Murray? I knew it. But it's Bill fucking Murray. The big BM. <laughs> yeah, the big BM. It's one of my he favorite. He got killed off in Zombie Land, okay? Yeah, <laughs> but they brought him back in Zombie Land too. I don't remember that. You didn't watch the credits, did you? No. So, Scrooge is one of my favorites, all-time favorites. I remember watching that with my dad and my mom when I was a kid, and it was just fucking great. It was just fucking great. So, all right, Monster. monster. Blow us away with the next... The next uh... Um, just yeah. don't say it had a lot of emotion. <laughs> oh. oh, Chris, you're not going to live that down. I'm sorry, buddy. My mind well, 
What's that, Grizz? So what are some of the characters? Yeah, what are some of the characters? Don't they stand <laughs> He doesn't remember yeah. anything. One time, the one there was a man and a woman, I think. I don't know, maybe a child. There was some emotion there somewhere. Yeah, there's some. <laughs> <laughs> they all wore pants. Yeah. It was Christmas all, time. Um, they all were with joy, and then they were were sad, and they were joy again. <laughs> That's in fucking. Well, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that both of you have left out one of the greatest animated Christmas movies of all time. Hit me with it. Well, Peanuts Christmas. Oh, yes. That is a very good one. That, I'm not a fan of Peanuts. The I don't Peanuts, like Charlie Brown. I grew up on Charlie Brown, man. Like, the Peanuts Christmas. Tell us what it's about, Chris. Yeah, tell us what it's about. Is it a little emotion? Does what's his name? Who's his blankie? Or Isn't it past your bedtime, kid? <laughs> It's about giving, not just about receiving gifts. It's the joy of giving and bringing joy to others. So it has a moral. And you can say, I'm trying to make this shit up, but that well, is what it's I, about. I, I was going to, yeah. but then I realized you're right. It's it, There's a moral to it, and it's That's got... exactly what it's about. Yeah. You don't, re, you don't remember the, deep, the basic giving, details, but you, get, you got the idea. Because really, I don't remember the basic details either, so don't feel bad. Uh, I know it was a good movie. I loved it. Um, anything Peanuts was good anyway. I'm not a fan of the Peanuts. That's Sorry. okay. You know, you take it or leave it. It's, I it it was good old wholesome animation. And I'll tell you my next one. Edward Scissorhands. Yes, it was no. dark, but it was done during Christmas. A part of it was Christmas. It was it at Christmas? It was at Christmas. Like they Godfather. celebrated Christmas. If we're going to allow him to have Edward Scissorhands, then I should have Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Okay. Because they all come during Christmas. There was Christmas. Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. Why didn't you fucking say that? You had a whole minute, you had a whole like 12 minutes to come up with a fucking name and you couldn't think of Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, what was the, tell us about why do you like Nightmare Before Christmas? I think it's a shit movie, but uh, go on. I love the basis of it. Like the guy, he he wants something new. He's depressed. He tries to go do something new, fucks it up, and learns that learns everything that was good to begin with. Everything was good to begin with. It has a good moral, but it's a rip off of two different fucking holidays, and it's bullshit. You're bullshit. <laughs> And it and when I was in high school, when it got big, it was on every five goddamn minutes. When I when I was a kid, I watched it when it first came out. I didn't watch it when it got big. I liked it since uh, it came out. It's uh, I, I have the VHS. Couldn't stand it. I have well, the VHS. Uh, you know what? I'll give I'll, I'll give that to you. But it's I just can't stand the movie. What about you, Grizz? We hadn't heard from you about about the Nightmare Before Christmas. It was a different take on it on it because nobody had done anything that risque before um, especially when it comes to that type of movie so I think it it opened up the eyes of a lot of people well, I think it helped and, put Tim whatever Tim Burton on the fucking map I know that, mm-hmm. I know that yeah. uh, like Batman did but that, that movie helped him like do this all this like outside the box bullshit that he got to do, and I think without that, it wouldn't we wouldn't have had other movies like that came out later on by Tim Burton Gremlins. That's a Christmas Cast one, away. that is a Christmas movie. Cast Away, that's a Christmas movie as well. Is it Cast Are we Away? Random movies now? I think he's just saying random movies. I don't think Cast Away was a Christmas movie. He's delivering presents in his FedEx plane when it went down. Yeah, but it was just one part of the movie. Oh, oh, so it was Die Hard. Die Hard was yeah. during all of Christmas! That was one fucking night! On Christmas! Oh, you guys are killing me. You guys are <laughs> killing me. Oh, 
fucking stick to the fucking heart. Stake to the heart. Fuck you guys. Die Hard was a Christmas movie. Stake to the heart? It's not Halloween no more. <laughs> it's Halloween all the time for me. But I said Gremlins because Gremlins is an amazing movie. And it's and it's a Christmas horror movie. movie. But it's a... But it... I mean, come on. There's been horror movies based on Christmas. Yeah. The Krumpus... Krampus. That's another one. Krampus. That's a good Krampus. movie. Krampus. Yeah, that's another one. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. That we hope you enjoyed uh, spending this Christmas with us, talking about reminiscing about old Christmas movies. Because I know I, it was fun. I enjoyed doing that. Yeah. Has anyone else got anything else to say, Grizz? You first. Oh well, you know, if you like what you hear, what you see, uh, you want to hear more of us. Always uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Right, I do believe you have a uh, number that you can call to leave a comment, complaint, criticism, something you want us to watch, something you want us to review, something you want us to play, something you want us to do a podcast on. Call us, leave us a message. And what is that number, Monster? That number is 559-997-6803. That number was 559-997-6803. Six eight zero. What about you, monsters? Anything you want to say before we leave? Don't forget, I, I had uh, uh, te- technical difficulties for a minute, but my stream start again Mondays from six to nine o'clock, depending on how my day's going. Sometimes I'll start at six, sometimes I'll start at nine. Don't forget to because your day's so full of emotion, right? Yeah. <laughs> Some days I'm upper, some days I'm down. Some days I don't feel like getting out of bed. Oh, oh man. All right, guys. Well, we'll hope to see you next week. Uh, we hope you have a, an amazing Christmas. Have a happy new year. Till then, stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. Always.